Okay, my friends. So after reviewing the last files, we are going to merge. We are going to merge our last files into a um, compile uh, last file. Okay, or a compile point cloud. So in order to do that, we are going to use last merge. Last merge. Okay, and here on last merge, we are going to select all the last files that we have downloaded. So this one. The first, and as well the second, and as well the third, and as well the fourth one. Okay, so flight uh, files are flight lines, and then we have to define, and uh, we have to say to a file, and here we have to select, we select the, the name. And then here, just type merge. Okay, so this will be our. So we run this, and then we, with that, we merge our file. Yeah. So if you want to see the magic that is behind, so we have here the four files, and this is the output file. Okay, the process is still going, and we have to wait a little bit. Okay, just to remind that the last tools is not entirely, is not open source, so actually there is a license. So, uh, I mean, it's, there is a license, however, you can do it, you can do this process without the license, but in order to do this process, we have to do a split, okay? And um, with a split, it's a, um, it's a like kind of intermediate step that allows us to complete the process without having the license, okay? So as you see, we have here the compile, the compile merge, okay? So um, these ones weights, like should weight the sum of all of them, all of the partial last files, okay? So great, so here we have, we are going to call last, so this is the intermediate step and then we are going to select the last merge and then here's let's call it a split of one million because we are going to spill our our point clouds per million points so actually if there will be 18 million points we will have 18 last files okay this is done because to overcome the problem of the license. Okay, so here uh, on check file. Now on a split. Now first we select the, the name and then we go to here to split and then split, great, so by flat line and then a split of one million. Okay, great, run. And then that will split that in several small and partial last files. Okay, so as you see, it is splitting the, uh, the algorithm is splitting the big last file in small partial last files. And that's okay. Okay, so we see 28, no, 29 files. So actually the total last, the total point cloud has more than 28 million of points. Okay, and then after last split, we do last to them pro, last to them pro. And then here we select the split, I mean the, the folder with the split diagrams and then this is the and then we are going to do uh we are going to keep the class 2 and 8 and the class 2 and 8 are the vegetation and mass points no uh, ground and mass points okay this one great and 
Twitter. And then here save on temporary folder. No, actually save to directory. Um, and here to raster, but um, yeah, so we select the carpet here, the directory. And we cannot select the, we cannot specify a name because actually it will take the last and we, it will create a them from the last file. So actually the, the name come from the last file. Okay, nothing else. So we run this. We run this. And then this is a parallelized, parallelized uh, process because it actually takes four cores. However, um, well, that's what it says here. Let's wait. Okay it has finished so here actually on raster we have the partial raster however we have the well this is the your reference the T tfw is the word file so the ones that have the your re referenciation of the tf file but it also provides some klms that are act that we actually do not require them and we have to get rid of them in order to to upload the all of these dems into the virtual raster so just delete all the klms that come from the from the process okay and then okay that's the end of what we had to do with the with the last tools and then what we need to do is we then we are going to work with virtual raster build virtual raster okay and then we are going to add the directory that's why we had to get rid of the klms because the klms can be vector or raster so yeah we select the raster the raster file the raster folder yeah okay so we have 29 elements we take out this one yeah and that's it so we run it okay so now we have a virtual raster as you see this is our virtual raster and there are some gaps and why there are some gaps because this we we were working with a lot of last files that came became raster files but actually they well somehow they do sometimes they do not join perfectly so that's why we are going to close gaps close gaps with the zipper line so here and then we have to use new man here mm, nothing more just this so it will close the gaps with the zipper line and there are other methods that will do it with inverse distance network and so on but in this case it's just close gaps And this is important, otherwise we cannot do the field syncs. Okay, so here we have the close, and then we can do the field syncs of one liu. That is the same that we do that we use for the regional scale. And uh, I want the fillet then. I don't want to see the flow direction, but I want to see the watershed basins. Mm -hmm. I will tell you something. Uh, um, that the process is quite innovative however like it also requires to take into consideration the some parameters about the interpolation because as you will see there are some the triangulation sometimes I mean if there is a point that was not well classified so 
if it's classified as, as ground, but actually is is a, a is a roof, so it will make a mess on everything. I mean, on the flow accumulation, on the channel networks, and so on. So that's why I mean, and then you are not dealing just with just one point; you are dealing with millions of points. So that's why we need. It's kind of I mean, the filters or whatever cannot be done on the on the small scale or manually those filters has to be kind of statistical or have another approach okay great so let's see we close this so this is our field and this is our watersheds okay if you do this tutorial and it does if the watershed do not does not appear like this based on on the procedure i strongly recommend that you that you redo all the steps because most probably you have do you have done something wrong so because this is the watershed that you that should arrive to your computer okay great so here basically we have to do channel networks and drainage basins channel networks and drainage basins from the fillet Actually, I don't want the flow direction. I don't want the I don't want the stroller. I don't want the drainage basins. I want the channels and the drainage basins. I don't want the junctions. So, I run this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I run this. Okay, it's taking some time. Okay. Okay, great. So here you have these are the basins and this is the, the channel the channel network. Let's do some small tricks on the representation of the channel network. So this will be categorized or categorized categorized yes by the order, the straddler order. So we classify. But here we want we are going to need that the width will be associated to the to the order, to the order, to the field of order divided by, no, uh, divided by four, yeah, okay, okay, apply, oops, something went wrong here, and then classify, apply, yes, and then the color ramp will be blues, apply, great, so here you see, as long as the order is bigger, the the channel network is thicker. Okay, and maybe divided by six. Maybe let's divide it by um, five. Actually, I never like to divide. No. Okay, great. So this is yes, and then properties. 
we can do categorize and then we can by ID random colors let's see spectral let's see let's have some 30 percent of opus okay wow so ah, okay so here sorry and properties I have to classify them mm, yeah well Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then here you will see, and then the resolution available is quite amazing. I mean, here you can see how is how will be the drainage network of this field, or how water will come from this area and it will reach here and um, it will go through this um, to the side of the road to meet this one here and then go go down flow here for example there are some issues here this is done based on the uh, because we have selected number two and number eight okay and for example here maybe there will be that there are no ground or the field things did some error yeah, this is something that could be improved here, and this is based of what will be the best that I mean the best selection of of the be, the best selection of points or of classifications or like the best type of interpolation, doing some limits of to triangulation and so on. Yeah, but this is something like uh, we have to play around more with these tools, okay, in order to define the best. The best thing I, I did my research and I I make it run, but it, um, we know that more can be done based on this. And for example, here as well. So here it should come this, but based on any of the filters that we have done, when the the, the channel network came in this direction. Okay, great. Uh, that's it you are going to have this on the description uh, you are going to have the input files on the description of the video uh, we strongly recommend that you follow this procedure you follow this process and then you start to figure out if the area of, of if your area of study has the same data that has some leader da da data or like you can figure out if you can do it this with drone data as well okay so it's it's a matter of playing around with the data okay so that was everything from my part uh, strongly um, uh, strongly recommend to take care of yourself on these covid times hope that uh, we can see us in coming tutorials webinar or courses have a great day and See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.